All right, we're here at Amazon for my Amazon $50 EDC challenge, where I have to build an entire everyday carry system that'll last me at least a month. Let's get started. So we just got done doing our shopping for our $50 everyday carry challenge, which was pretty freaking exciting. And for reference, this is what my normal everyday carry looks like. It's a typical EDC that you guys that follow me on social media would normally see. Now, what I am so intrigued by is this is one of my favorite freaking watches on the planet. And for you guys who follow me on the channel regularly, I've had this for a long time. This watch has seen a lot of years of love. I've owned that since about 2013. But for me, this was considered a very expensive watch purchase back in the day. This was a $60 watch. I'm very interested to see how building an entire complete system that is less, like $10 less than just that watch is going to fare. I love my beaters from my Openels, my Cold Steels. I even have, oh, this baby right here, which is my little $29 Boker, my little Klitschnikov. It is an absolute champ. But like I said, I'm really intrigued to see what it's like to basically take a full-on $50 EDC, use it in my rotation, and what I'm hoping to get from this is will it actually change my mind and perspective on extreme budget everyday carry items as clearly as some of the cheap survival kits we've built in the past. Now, as we're going through this, I'll kind of just give you guys a quick breakdown of what my normal everyday carry would look like. We got my watch with my little compass out here because we do venture out into the woods a lot. Now, this little can you guys are probably curious about, this is actually a new fire starter, which is a nice little EDC size 10. This is called Pyro Putty. Uh, it's brand new to the market as far as I know. But uh, we interchange this pretty regularly too for our survival fire starters with things like the fire plugs from Pro Camp Tech or our Spartan fire strips that we usually keep in here that's usually buried in our wallet. This is actually six full-size strips. This is actually a new flashlight. This is from Rovivon, if I'm not mistaken, but this is the Aurora A1. I'm super excited about this, but this thing is super freaking bright. I put the pocket clip just like this so I could actually wear it on my hat if I needed an impromptu hands-free uh, headlamp in a pinch. Now, this is my Benchmade Grizzly Ridge. For you guys who know me, I, I pretty much interchange Benchmade and Cold Steel pretty regularly on the fly. I love their knives. Actually, a really expensive multi-tool. This is the the Leatherman Charge Plus. This is actually like a $140 multi-tool, but um, I actually went to REI and they had this exact model on clearance. There was like a special edition version that had one additional tool on it and they were selling this for like 50 bucks in it. It came into the thing because we're REI co-op members and I ended up getting this for like five bucks. So that's the only reason I have this one on the table. Uh, we have my Polka pen, which is an awesome kind of collapsible pen. I like this because it gives me a full size writing implement and a compact package. Sometimes I just stick it in my front wallet. And if you guys were really uh, eyeballing my uh, purchases for my wallet, this is my chum's wallet. This is like an $8 freaking wallet. It's super cheap. I've actually been rocking this one for about six months and I absolutely love it. Then I got my survival bracelet from Outdoor Element. And then I'm kind of testing out this uh, Arc Lighter from Pyro Putty 2. This is kind of their brand, which is pretty freaking neat. So for Urban EDC, this is pretty much what it looks like. The only thing I would change if I went out to the field, because we have some property we go to when we're overseeing things like my bug out shelter or the hog feeders when I go on hunting out there in the woods, we want to make sure we have a few different pocket kits with us. And this is kind of like a little pocket pal by Sharp Pal. This is like a six in one. And this is pretty much the only other thing I'd add, which is kind of a fun little sharpener so I can keep my tools maintenance in the field. I can start a fire if we're going to be uh, cooking on the grill or I need to start one in the emergency, and then it's got an emergency whistle on it. But speaking of pocket tools and sharpening systems, we do want to give a major shout out to our sponsor for this episode, which is actually Sharp Pal. We actually fell in love with these guys well before they became a sponsor, but we do want to give a shout out to them because we could not make this EDC challenge possible without them. They are makers of sharpening systems like these pocket pals all the way to big huge in home and shop use diamond witch stones that you can use on the fly on amazon but uh if you guys want to learn about the sharp pal 
now and some of the options they have because this is super cheap man this is only 10 bucks and i keep this in my pocket pretty regularly or anything else they have we'll have links down in the video description so you can check out all the gear that were mentioned today and boom this is our 50 dollar actually sub 50 dollar if you guys remember the price tag is this was only 48 dollars and 82 cents i'm super freaking amped by this this is actually a good looking everyday carry system I'm super impressed by this. Um, the flashlight actually worked. For this being like five, six bucks, I was really glad. It only has one mode on it, but I'm not I'm not mad at this at all. It, it's, it's actually really, really bright. And the fact that this actually came functioning and working for like a $6 watch, kind of happy. I'm very interested to see how this is all going to break down and go. So we've got the two zebra pins right here. These are the F301s. I, I rocked these in high school and college and use these all the freaking time. These were in my pocket, man. These were my uh, little pocket defenders right here, buddy. They uh, write really, really well. So the fact that they had them as an add-on item was really nice. I've never used a watch this cheap before. Like I said, uh, contrasting this $6 watch to my $60 watch, I'm pretty interested to see how that fares. There is no water rating, so I'm pretty much going to have to be careful with this, but I'm pretty excited. Also, I think I've discovered my new secret agent, secret identity, which is Booby the Bird out of Utah. <laughs> oh, that's really funny that they added that. I kind of think it's pretty hilarious. But um, this is the new blue Chums wallet. Like I said, I've been rocking this for a long time. So what we wanted to break down and do and something that i'm really excited about is because all of this was amazon prime eligible and add-on items for you guys who have amazon prime you guys know that they don't really charge taxes and shipping is free and usually the, the next day or two which is awesome so we what we did to kind of really round this thing out and make it a full seven piece we spent a dollar and went to the gas station so we're basically at 49 dollars and 82 cents and got a single big lighter so we have some form of fire starting with us so with this being a super cheap everyday carry system we wanted to go ahead and take this bad boy out into the field i was very curious to know how all this stuff was going to work uh pretty much i do love the fact that these are spring-loaded pliers that was really really beneficial uh, the knife is actually decently sharp on it. It's not too bad, but um, it's it's okay. I mean, keep in mind this is like a $10 multi-tool. Don't expect excellence out of it. Um, this is kind of janky. I don't have a lot of confidence in this, which is their little flathead screwdriver. Like I said, I wanted the spring-loaded pliers because I find myself... And my wife finds ourselves, well, we kind of need this for stuff every now and then. And just having something we can keep on our keychain or in our pocket is really useful. So uh, my wife gave this a little field test and a go, and it looked, worked like it should. The pliers did its job, spring-loaded, nothing got stuck. Honestly, I know a lot of people like things like the Gerber Dime or they like the Leatherman Squirt. But for this, like I said, being super cheap, at the, ugh, man, it's a rock star. Now, since I've came back from my 30-day uh, survival challenge, we are really big on keeping ourselves in shape and going on walks on the trail. And since we do that in the evening and nighttime, we usually run into a situation where it gets dark. So we want to be able to see things because living here in South Texas, things like uh, just finding some cool little creatures like frogs. But we do run into things like some venomous snakes from time to time. We have run into uh, rattlesnakes on the trail. So just keeping an eye out for them, making sure our dogs or my kids don't get hurt. An illumination tool is going to be really, really handy. So we took this out on the trail. And honestly, I was impressed. Uh, it's still on its full charge. This had to operate for us for about two miles in the dark on the trail, and it worked fine. Now, obviously, you guys know I'm super biased because I love Booby the Bird. This is my wallet. Um, I mean, obviously, to hold my ID and my cards when I go places like the grocery store, I go shopping, go out to eat. Or uh, most recently, like you guys are seeing the overlay footage, when we decided to go to, uh, I was shipping off a package at UPS. Like I said, I love this wallet to death. It's super cheap. Um, if there's any item I recommend over every single item in this particular kit, it'd probably be the Chums Wallet because it's like eight bucks and it holds absolutely everything. Now moving forward, this is the Gerber Paraframe. This is their mini. I know a lot of people when they graduated high school or they were in high school, this was kind of their knife of choice, well, the, the bigger version. Uh, I remember it was my first knife, but the fact they had this for eight bucks, I was pretty ecstatic. Uh, this is nothing to write home about. Um, the out-of-the-box sharpness obviously is not too stellar. It's an $8 knife, guys. Um, you can easily put this on a whetstone or actually put this on a grinder or anything like that and sharpen this thing up and should be right as rain. But, uh, it, I mean, even, even a dull point will open up packages and everything for you just fine. Not a big deal. Or take care of, you know, some small prying or cutting if you need to. 
but uh, I, it was kind of weird having a super tiny insane knife on me. Ugh, it wasn't enough handle grip for me. It was a little too small for my hands. That was my only big gripe, but all in all, still locks up nice and tight. It was nice and sturdy for an eight buck knife. Like I said, it actually wasn't too bad. Now we move on to the watch. Uh, this Grand Touring watch, considering it was so cheap, impressed me. Um, I didn't have like sweaty band syndrome too much with the silicone bands. I think the ridges helped with that. It had a it has a decent, not, not a premium feel, but not a super cheap feel, which was actually kind of nice given its stupid cheap price point. Um, it kept it keeps time pretty well. It's actually Do you have yeah. the time? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It is uh 435. Oh, yeah, no problem. It isn't too bad considering it's not atomic. We've been you know kind of checking that off on with our phones just to make sure that it's keeping pretty decent time and it's not too bad considering the least. Like I said, I don't know it's waterproof rating. But uh, keeping this on me and keeping accurate time obviously did its job. Now these are my pans, these are my babies. I love these things, man. I actually rock these all the freaking time. So the fact that I was able to include these into my everyday carry list was pretty freaking exciting. Obviously they write really, really smooth. We use them when we are paying bills, when we are going, uh, you know, doing stuff at restaurants or we are actually doing our grocery list because uh you know keeping track of stuff old school instead of on my phone is the thing i actually still use pen and paper to do my grocery lists uh given the fact that i have done some pretty stupid stuff by accidentally like double tapping and using two fingers on my on, on the notepad on my phone and i will just completely delete my entire grocery list and it'll irk me so the fact that i can have some old school uh usability is pretty nice and then last but not least even though this wasn't purchased on amazon lighter it does the trick man lights up stuff but all in all with this being a full seven piece system for just under fifty dollars how do you like it we have we have a lighter we've got two pens we've got a flashlight watch wallet multi-tool knife all rolled into one for less than 50 bucks. How did you guys like this particular build? I was super excited. If you enjoyed this episode, you want to see more like it, definitely this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that just about it for now. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.